Good morning, Flats Class YouTube. Captain CA here, and I do apologize for my voice. I've totally lost it after filming last week with Captain Danny Allen and Steen Hatchie. And now, dealing with several cold fronts back to back to back, it has really taken its toll on my voice and given me quite the head cold. But, all that being said, I felt like I needed to get this out to you all. Uh, this time of year when we're in transition and we have so much fluctuation in water temperature and how often the fronts come by and we're dealing with a lot of wind, um, there's only one fish that I can always rely on no matter what the conditions. And uh, we may start out speckled trout fishing, we may end up red fishing at the end of the day, but one fish I can target at any time if I've got some sun for sight fishing is the black drum, the unheralded black drum. Go look at this action. I'll be right back with some tackle tips. He's only 25 pounds. <laughs> He's probably 30 pounds or more, maybe even 40. That's awesome. That is, what a catch. What a catch. You want me to hold it? Yeah, you put it, yeah, put it right in there. Ooh, this is it. He's farting you all over. <laughs> He's gonna go. Ready? Oh yeah. How did you like that for action? Unbelievable. What a way to start off. Uh, from before we got going with the eagle taking off from the tree to, to just Mike getting right into it and catching one right off the bat. The thing about black drum is they're a lot of fun to target. And if you've got fly anglers or you've got light tackle anglers that enjoy sight fishing, the biggest challenge is not finding the black drum because here on Florida's uh, sports coast, nature coast, and big bend zones, we have tons of limestone and oyster reefs where these fish kind of peruse around looking for food. And they're of the super size variety. So easy to see for the client and uh, for the angler. And like I said, fly fishing or light tackle. They make great targets. Now, if you're fly fishing, you're going to have to use a little bit bigger fly, a little heavier fly to get down to their zone because their cone of awareness is very small. They don't run anything down. If you line them or hit them, you're going to spook them. But if you approach them carefully and you make a cast and you can get the bait right in here, the lure right in here, you're going to catch them. Now, things I have found out over time that works the best, now almost everything works, but works the best, are baits that they can see easily, like the pink spoon. The pink spoon is a very good one. The chartreuse Mountain Dew spoon, also from Aquadream, very well. Brighter soft plastics, chartreuse, new penny, uh, new penny chartreuse, which we call sexy penny. These are all going to add to your ability to get it in front of them, them see it, and them to be able to get a hold of it. And then you can always add a spinner arm. Adding a spinner bait is great, or an underspin. I've been I've been throwing a lot of these underspins lately, and they've been working well um, for the black drum. The key is is the approach, the angle. Make sure the the angler on the bow of the boat can see exactly where the head of the fish is. Throw a safe distance away. Bring it up to them and get it close contact to the bottom. Now, the bladed baits have a little bit of flash and thump, and it's easier for the drum to pin it to the bottom and locate it. The colored baits, you gotta be a little slicker caster to make it work out. But remember also, you gotta have um, hardware, or I'm gonna say um, hooks, such as 
the snake locks and whatnot that have a good heavy wire because you're gonna be putting a lot of pressure on these fish. Now, most of the rod actions that we were using were medium heavy rod actions, seven foot rods for short casts. And we were able to put a lot of heat on them with the 4,000 size reels. But you can do this with very light tackle if you want to. You just gotta remember what the water temperature is and make sure that the fish are released in good speed. Now, these two characters that I'm fishing with, Mike and Lucas, Mike is a regular here on Flats Class YouTube. He's been on a lot of my videos in Louisiana. <clears throat> Boy, I apologize for this voice. And Lucas has been in one or two of these videos over the years just because I just started fishing with him. He's a friend of Mike from Miami. Lucas is 74 years young. I wouldn't call him a great sight fisherman, but I would call him an enthusiastic fisherman. He really wanted to get better. And Mike, the perfect fishing partner for him, giving him his opportunities, giving up shots himself to make sure Lucas could catch a fish. Like this one, go check it out. Shake it. Right in front of the boat. Too far left. He drop, it, drop it. Yeah. Shake it. Slow, slow, slow. I think you pulled it by the front and you're too fast. You set the hook. There's one next to it. Yeah, I know. I'm stuck up here. There's one right there. Yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm stuck, so I can't do anything. Got chaos here. We have a little chaos. Yeah. I'm going to try to get you up there so you can shake that thing off. You go, Lucas. You got him, brother. Lucas, that's going to be the fish of your lifetime. Right there. I got it. I got, got it. it. Yeah, I got it. Tell me if you see another one. We'll double up on this fish. Oh my gosh. He's a nice fish, Lucas. I'm on. Doubled up. Holy now God. we've done it. Now we've done it. Two big uglies. Oh my God. Lucas. Two big uglies. Two big uglies. I'm not talking about the fish, I'm talking about you two. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Nice. Nice. This has turned into quite the uh, cluster here. Well, I'm kind of playing with him. Wait. Alright, you got it. You got him under control? Lucas is fighting uh, a tarpon or something here. He's got, he's got a big... So big it doesn't Lucas, fit the picture. Pull it like away from your body. There you go. You there want you go. it to stand up. Yeah, make it look big. Make it look it? make it look 50 Don't pounds instead of 40. Against you. you got nice. It. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And those two fishing buddies, well, they're inseparable. A lot of fun having them on board. And when you're catching big fish like that, that picture of both of them holding those big drum up, well, that was worth the trip. They also caught a number of speckled trout on the same types of baits. They caught several redfish up to 28 inches long, and they ended up hooking three snook and landing one. So it was an epic trip, if you will. But I figured the drum would be interesting to all of you because a lot of you think that the drum is not a game fish. The black drum is definitely a game fish and one worth chasing. So if you get a hankering to do it, or you've got some in your local area and you never wanted to try it, thought it was like ah, it's like catching a jack it's not and i'm going to be doing a video on those big jacks soon too until next time captain ca signing off if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet you need to and give us the big thumbs up it's my job to make all of you better inshore anglers can't do it without you